Paradisus Cancun. We are here in Cancun, Mexico at the Paradisus Resort. Day one, friends. Day one went how most of our day ones go. We got a shot. Tequila. It is spring break. These kids have been drinking all day. And a lot of them don't like to wear a whole lot of clothing. Um, Lots of butt cheeks. And they're not sober. I'm gonna have to show them how to party. Terrible. I'm so sorry. He's drunk. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is what happens when my husband drinks. Here we are, Paradisus Cancun, and so far our experience has been a little rough. I don't know that I'm capable of making a good travel video. I'm gonna keep trying, but I just keep making the same mistakes. Day one at the Paradisus. <laughs> Please take your seats and fasten your seatbelts. You may continue using your cell phones, but only until the aircraft doors are closed. Paradises Cancun is an all-inclusive luxury resort located near the center of the hotel zone. It's about a 30-minute drive away from the Cancun International Airport. The resort's architecture is reminiscent of Mexico's ancient Mayan culture. Paradisus is made up of five interconnecting pyramids topped with prisms of glass. Lush tropical plants dominate the interior, giving you a sense of feeling like you're in a tropical rainforest. Yesterday was a typical first day for us. We arrived earlier than we've ever arrived. Our check-in was a bit confusing, but we'll get to that later in the video. We are at the Paradia We are at the <laughs> We are at the Paradisus Cancun in the hotel zone. We are in a room we don't know what it exactly it is. There was mix up that check-in. It's a reserve room, but we don't have reserve amenities, so we're gonna figure out what this what's going on with our room. When you come to your room, when you check in, you're given um, little wristbands. These are your room keys, but yeah. Our check-in was a little bit of a miscommunication, so we'll get to that later. This is 3706 on the seventh floor, which is really high. Okay, so you walk in and you go to the right. You step up, don't trip. You walk in and then here is a sink. There's only a single sink. It's not a his and a hers. Um, and there are nice little amenities here. There's a razor kit, vanity kit, tissues, dental kit, and nail file. Some body lotion and hand soap a full-size blow dryer underneath the sink, along with some towels there. And then over to the left is the shower. It's a big walk-in shower. Um, it has a handheld option or a rain shower. There is shampoo, conditioner, and shower gel provided as well. And back on the other side of the restroom, there is a toilet in here. It's a little room. It's all a little room. When you walk out of the restroom, here's your closet. There's a safe, some drawers, two robes, and then a full iron board, ironing board and an iron. A full size mirror. I love that. And then as you walk into the room, over on the left here is a little area for your luggage and then there's some slippers and some shoe cleaning cloths and some shoe supplies down there. Continue on into the room you have your espresso, your espresso machine um, and then there's like two little um, coffee pots or two little decaf two regular. Um, you have a 50 inch TV in here this is a nice little desk area. Um, some more drawers there's three drawers here here are the um, snacks. There were two bags of chips, but I got hungry. And then there's some nuts and fruit bar, Oreo, M&Ms. I and then, stock those every day. Yep, those I'm assuming get stocked every day. And here is the stocked mini fridge. And then in this particular room, we got two double beds. I would prefer a king, but we're not really sure what happened with our check-in, so. They're beds and we can sleep in them and we'll be fine. Yeah, I'll sleep in that one, you sleep in that one. That's fine with me. <laughs> and then you walk into this little area, there's a couch and table. There is a little dining table and two chairs. 
nice little mirror. And then we are at the best part of the entire room. There's Brandy struggling. <laughs> it's a very heavy door. Oh a very, very heavy door. And I work out. Just kidding, no I don't. Allow me to show you the best part of this room. Beautiful view from the seventh floor. All the plants here are at Paradisus. According to the staff, they are all real. There's not a fake plant here. There's two chairs here, two lounge chairs. We arrived at the Paradisus Cancun Resort, and when we got off of the Amstar bus, we were told that, you know, we were reserve members. We had no idea. The gentleman said reserve, and we're like, sure, maybe our travel agent got us a free upgrade. So, sure. Got taken to the special reserve area. And they told us, grab a drink, there's some snacks. We'll get you checked in in a few minutes. The lobbies here are gorgeous. It's all real plants everywhere. It's beautiful. We wait and it's our turn to check in. Beautiful lobby. You come in, there's some good snacks. There's some liquor, there's some alcohol. And it's beautiful. I feel like I'm in a rainforest. So they take us up to the check-in. And when we go to check-in, he's like, I don't know why my colleagues brought me, brought you back here. You're not VIP. I feel that I am a very important person. Then we're told we didn't have any reserve amenities but we do have some kind of reserve room. They offered us an upgrade to the reserves. I didn't even want to know the price. So anyways, he gives us a map, tells us your room's in the third tower. You're in the fifth tower. This is your room number, go down that way. That was it. I think it was just the language barrier between the person that was trying to check us in. He spoke English, but his English was very, he was limited. We were set up on our own to walk around, couldn't find it, get to our room. It says reserves on the outside of the room. We get in our room and I'm like, do we have a reserve room? Like, do we have? reserve or are we just in a regular room that we booked there's a lot of miscommunication going on with where our bag was gonna go and just got really confusing it just set us off at a bad start so i called down to the front desk and talked to them and they were also very confused and had to put me on hold and talk to her manager so check-in was kind of subpar there is an option for the lagoon view that was cheaper i wanted this view so but there are other options. I'm very easy going and I can let all that go, but that was probably the worst check-in I've had. And we have a double bed. That's okay though. By the end of the day, we were thankful for those double beds and we'll be revealing why later in the video. The place is gorgeous. How can you be upset when you have this view? Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We don't really know our way around yet. We're gonna walk around this place, hopefully be able to get you a good first video of Paradisus Cancun. As we go throughout our day, we're finding little things that we weren't told to check in, like how to make a reservation for a dinner, what places are open and aren't open. We weren't told anything about entertainment. We weren't told really anything. You know, the basics of a resort. We kind of just checked in and left to hang for ourselves, but we figured it out. Nicole, a little chilly. In the a little shade. chilly. Woo! A little chilly. The resort is beautiful. Spent the day kind of walking around, figuring out the facility. It's not that hard to navigate. Kind of everything's in one general like pyramid. It was actually pretty easy to find everything. Went down, had a couple drinks at the pool bar and that closed. So after that, we went over for dinner at the Aqua Marina. I guess you would call it like an, an open restaurant. Oh, We're pool. not sitting outside, it's beside it's like the pool. It's a nice little breeze coming through. So we came in here, apparently you are supposed to make reservations, but we were not aware of that. But we just had to wait a few minutes. We went to the restroom and got a beer at the bar and then here we are. They have a lot of seafood here, so we'll let you know how it is. The server was great. I got fried cauliflower for appetizer. I got the Greek octopus for my main entree, and then we let our waiter pick our dessert, which I got caramel ice cream and cornbread. It was heavenly. Absolutely delicious. I got the tuna with couscous. Ooh, beef tacos, those are really good. I like the tacos more. My tuna could have had a little bit more flavor. Dessert? I remember some kind of. It was an, it was an apple dessert with banana ice cream. Okay. Dinner was great so far, beautiful views. 
Rough check-in. We have a double beds. So far, Paradisus, you get a very low score for check-in. And the room really isn't anything special. It's just like a literally a regular hotel room with a stocked fridge. But the view is beautiful, so yeah, it's fine. Like, so. James is eating again and he's not even hungry, so I don't understand why he's eating nuts. He's overly full. Why are you eating? Because they're salty goodness. Put them back. We came here during spring break. I knew it was spring break. Brandy, and I guess it didn't dawn on her that it was spring break. Which, I'm silly. I didn't realize it would be spring break even though I'm on spring break. There's a lot of youngsters running around here partying. I'm gonna have to show them how to party. I'm gonna have to show them how to party. We got a shot. Tequila. <laughs> Couldn't even finish the shot. It's so disgusting. The drinks here. They're not getting them right so far. None of our drinks were made right. They were fine, but they were definitely not what we ordered. Then we went out to Ginger Bar. There was a DJ in there and there was some live music and there's some nice little seating. There's like a foosball table and a, and a ping pong table. It looks like a little upscale bar. It's a really cute little area. They had some kind of DJ or something going on out there. It's kind of lame, but kids seem to enjoy it. They had a good time. Not our kids, the college kids. They were gonna have fun anyway, because they were all just smashed, making out with each other in the pools. I was like, damn. I remember what it was like to be that young. Woo! Call all your friends. Let's get this party started. Great times. We are watching all of the kids. They're all behaving. All of your parents out there watching this, all of your children are behaving. When I was that young, if I had the means to go to Cancun, how awesome would that have been? They are not done partying, friend. I'm not done partying. Why would they be done? Um, yes he is. It'd been awesome. I'm used to a different kind of entertainment at an all-inclusive. I don't know, it was different. There's an outdoor facility called Kana, and it's in like a bar, and you can get food there as well. Kana was packed. So we went out there and decided to lay in the hammocks instead. Is this the life? I think so. Brandy oh, says he's gonna try to flip challenge. me out of this hammock. <laughs> No, you're not allowed to touch me. You are not flipping me Don't out of this hand. Don't touch. Put your hands down. <laughs> Put your hand down. Let's go. You just broke a nail. <laughs> the music stopped. They quickly packed everything up. The bar closed. We had been up since 1.30 the night before. We were in bed. Yeah, we're laying in a little baby bed because we got a good double bed and not a this king. This is not a Ryu bed though, is it? This bed is muy poquito. Very tiny. Yes, it's over you, bed, honey. Is it about the size? Yeah. What is it with the beds in Mexico? I don't know what happened with this whole booking thing, but there's two of us. We should have... Two beds. <laughs> yeah, I'm sleeping over there. She's not sleeping over there. So we went to the buffet for like a late night snack and we met Alfred. And it was one of those things where you walk into a place and you're just supposed to meet somebody, that's kind of what happened tonight. It was probably the highlight of my day. Hello. <laughs> but this kid serenaded us. He is a good singer and he used to play in some rock bands like near the border. And he showed me a new beer can trick. That's so, so such a great time. His little Tecate truck. Magic. I asked him the same thing. And you don't have to. I, you just you, no, no, no. have to squeeze no. it on like flat enough for it to. And then we went up to the buffet. Everything I got off the buffet was absolutely freaking delicious. Yeah. This is what happens when my husband drinks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's drunk. He's yawning. He's trying to talk to you. These kids have been drinking all day and they're not sober. And a lot of them don't like to wear a whole lot of clothing. Oh my God. They don't wear bras and I see their butt cheeks. Girls, what, what's up? What, like, why do you want to show your butt cheeks all of a sudden? I don't get it. It's really weird because they're like my daughter's age. And then, uh, well, they're like- <laughs> They're a little older than your daughter. They're a little bit older than her. But still, lots of butt cheeks and bras have been gone for a long time. Right? 
How long have bras been gone? Because girls don't wear bras anymore. You have to have a certain breast size to be able to pull off the no bra, right? I think you gotta have like a certain cup size. I don't know, that girl had pretty big breasts earlier today that wasn't yeah, wearing well, a bra. she was wearing a sticky bra. Guess so, what? What? They're not gonna be able to use it like that. You're right. I don't even know what I'm talking anymore. It's hot. I think I'd rather sleep outside at this point. What do you think, babe? Um, I'm okay with it. I'm That's probably hot. just gonna shed some layers and I will be okay tonight. But yeah, I can see how Brandy feels a little bit too hot. But wait, am I still talking? I can't f talk. Tomorrow, hopefully, I can get way better footage for you. Terrible. I'm so sorry. First day. Never mind. Just. This good night. Good night, okay? Okay. Day two. Paradisus Cancun. The place is beautiful, right? This these views that you get, and I think pretty much all of these rooms had a view similar to this. We're on floor seven. I don't know, I heard the higher up you are, the better the view. I don't know if how true that is, but it's beautiful. But yeah, so far, the rain shower was great. The bed was comfortable. The pillow was comfortable. I actually slept really good. I fell asleep with my beer last night. I don't think I drank too much. James, James did drink too much. I sat down in the bed. I laid down. I should have just went to bed. I decided to crack open a beer last night before I went to sleep. I woke up in the middle of the night with brandy had left me and I was laying in wet. I woke up to a beer being spilled in the bed. I had spilled the beer all over me, just fell asleep with the beer in my hand. That's no good, but I'll, I'll tell you what. Thankfully we have two beds. So I just went out of the wet bed to the to the other bed. So hey, you people, if you get two beds, don't be too upset about it. Cause if you make wrongs in the one bed, you can just go on to the next bed. I really need to get my shit together. Finally figured out the confusion with the reserve. Victor at the front desk is a wonderful man. He uh, figured everything out for us. So what happened was when we booked last minute, there was no regular rooms available. So we ended up getting a reserve room, but no reserve amenities. We have a reserve room, but the the rooms are the same. They just have different amenities. Just I really hope I get another bag of chips tomorrow. <laughs> We spent a lot of time trying to figure this out and we're still not 100% sure, but it looks like the most basic reserve rooms in the third tower, almost identical to the luxury junior suite that we had booked. We are assuming there were no luxury junior suites available. So they put us in a reserve junior suite since they're basically the same room. With that, we got some updated perks like the snacks, complimentary room service, and other extra room amenities that come with being a reserve guest. But since we didn't pay extra money for the reserve service, we got no special VIP access to the private pool, cabanas, personal butler or anything like that. Bottom line, we got everything clarified, found out where we make reservations for dinner because that is something that you do here is you make reservations. And we met with our Amstar representative. So I feel like this morning, we got the basic stuff that should have been done on day one taken care of. We're talking about excursions and what we're gonna do. So we have a couple different options. So we'll see, but yes, thank you, Victor. <laughs> at the front desk. You're an amazing human. Day one went how most of our day ones go. Didn't sleep much yesterday. We get here, get excited. My brain just turns to mush. I have all these ideas. Every time we go on one of these trips, I'm like, I'm gonna plan everything out. I'm gonna make sure everything is planned out and I'm gonna do it right this time. Well, I always say that and what happens? I get here and I get completely sidetracked and I don't capture what I'm supposed to. So I am determined to not let that happen this time. We got more Paradises videos coming, so you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel.